to plant the idea and design his mind that all of this counts. You know, all of this makes a difference. You know, we're working to reduce energy through design, right? And we're working to improve healthcare through design. And that takes a very holistic view of the person and their environment, and not just the person, but the people around them and the systems around them. So that encompasses a lot of elements which are all critical to achieving that goal. Well, I think what's very important is to think about the higher vision of what you're trying to achieve or what can possibly be achieved. So quite often, design projects are about the thing and, and the, the scope or the definition is rather limited, but really what you're trying to do uh, in a large sense is improve the world, like better somebody's life, improve the quality of life. And what that takes is quite a bit of alignment and vision and enthusiasm and passion. So the idea of working either alone or with a team and establishing and maintaining that vision is really key. And to broadening the definition of the project to really hit the um, a more purposeful goal would be would be really the thing that I think drives me, right? So for instance, in many projects is energy conservation. And the reason to do that is many, right? Because there are lots of reasons to do that. It could be environmental, it could be political, it could be um, uh, economical, right? A lot of reasons to save energy out in the world or to improve healthcare, working with a lot of medical companies uh, with the idea that design can actually help people take better care of themselves. And that's not only a savings in cost to the healthcare system, it's better for the person or the patient or the medical system in general. So to think of design and its impact and the power of design to accomplish those goals is huge. You do need to have a bit of a vision and also in order to do that. Not everyone may have that. That vision often needs to come from the design team or from people who have some expertise in design and can understand what the power of design is capable of accomplishing. Thought process can expand. So yeah, it's great to get there early before the design brief is even created, but often there are budgets and schedules that are real constraints, but you can initiate that first project with the idea that there could be a second and third and that, and that it can evolve accordingly. And I think that's the uh, basis of design strategy as opposed to a design project, is how can you manage design within a company? How can you help them uh, manage design or utilize design in a way that quite possibly has not been in their radar scope before, ways they haven't thought about before? Again, it doesn't have to happen at the get-go on project one, but it can happen over time, you know, have more and more and more of an impact over time. And you even want the first project often to be rather painless and simple and, you know, not try to change the world on day one, but, you know, start out slowly and eventually have a greater and greater effect.